Following the announcement by the Prime Minister's office that the Dewan Rakyat will reconvene for five days from July 26, political experts say both sides of the divide should come together to work towards the nation's recovery. But some MPs feel that the upcoming meeting of the third session of the 14th Parliament should be longer to conduct debates on issues concerning the pandemic. Political analysts see the meeting as a test of whether politicians can work together towards a speedy recovery from COVID-19. Nick Marmod of the International Islamic University Malaysia He said the meeting would also mark the first step to ensuring that Parliament met amid the pandemic. He said the meeting would also focus on the emergency proclamation and ordinances issued under it. University Sains Malaysia's Professor Dr. Sivamarugan Pandian said lawmakers should avoid political rhetoric and focus on the Rakyat's welfare. The masses want to see how politicians can put aside their differences for once to show that they are keen on the nation's recovery. Based on recent developments, Professor C. Vamarugan said there would likely be a vote against extending the emergency proclamation. Yesterday, the PMO said in a statement that the special meeting would take place between July 26 and August 2 while Dewan Nagara would meet from August 3 to 5. The special meeting will center around the NRP and amendments to the law to allow a hybrid parliament meeting to be held, it added. Ponchan MP Datuk Seri Ahmed Maslan said five days would be inadequate for lawmakers to debate COVID-19 related issues and the 12th Malaysian plan. Ahmed, who is also UMNO Secretary General, added that the meeting should be held physically and not as a hybrid meeting. Tanjung Malim MP Chang Li Kang, of PKR, said they were supposed to perform their duty to check on the government not to be briefed about its planning. DAP's Bakri MP Yo B. Yin asked if the meeting would be a one-way affair for the government to merely put forward its views. Are MPs only going to Parliament to listen to addresses, and debate and vote only on the issue of the hybrid Parliament? She asked. She added that the government should not avoid meaningful discussions on COVID-19. Sabang MP Wong Chen, of PKR, said he was worried about the limited time for debates and suggested that the parliament meeting be held for at least 15 days instead. PMO also noted in its statement that the meeting would adhere to the requirements under Article 150 of the Federal Constitution for the emergency proclamation for it to be laid before both houses of parliament. Parliament meetings were suspended following the emergency declaration by the King on January 12. In light of the surge in COVID-19 cases. Last week, the Yang Dai Perchuan Agong al-Sultan Abdullah Riyatuddin al-Mustafa Billah Shah reiterated his view that Parliament should reconvene as soon as possible. He expressed this during a meeting with Dewan Rakyat Speaker Datuk Azar Azizan Harun, Dewan Nagara President Tan Shri Dr. Ray Yatim and their deputies. The king's call came after the special meeting of the Malay rulers on June 16 and his subsequent audiences with heads of political parties. Dewan Rakiat last met on December 18 and was supposed to have convened in March this year but was suspended following the declaration of the emergency. <laughs>